Beans and uh, high school. Wedgies. Beans, not Blockers. The prom. Not going to prom. Making out in the parking lot. Watching people make out in the parking lot. Cheating on. No, I never did that. I never, never, ever did that. Hey, glad you could tune in tonight because it's true. We're showing a high school movie. We're showing the movie Angus. I don't know. Whenever I see these high school films, I always have this moment of like, oh my God, high school. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's so much. Don't hit me. Don't school. hit me. What? Uh, it's just my high school. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, the movie stars some great people. Mm -hmm. George C. Scott. Kathy, Kathy Bates. Bates. Mm -hmm. uh, James Vanderbeek, who you know, of course, from Dawson's Creek. And a newcomer, Charlie Talbot. This is his first movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, back stars in it. I was just going to say he was discovered uh, joking around for some friends at a fast food restaurant. Director was in his hometown. Right. Saw him, thought this kid is, is perfect for the, for the role. He's great. I mean, it sort of yeah. breaks your heart. Yeah. You know, well, you'll love this movie. Great music, too. And, of course, well, you know what we're making out of the movie, right? We're showing the movie Angus. What do you think we're making? You, 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 you don't have to spell you, it out. What are you talking about? We don't have to. Well, we, we, we have a good title for it, though, so I, can I tell them that? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're making Outcast Iron Skillet Steak. Steak. Is this a joke? You get that? We're making it. Guess we're Outcast watching Angus. Outcast Iron Skillet Steak. Yeah, they get you it. Get, you get yeah, what I'm saying? Because sometimes people don't get it out there. And you got to get it. Because if you don't get it, then we're wasting our time doing our job here. Outcast Iron Skillet Steak. You know, it's weird. The first time I saw this movie, I felt like that the, the angry jock kind of character uh -huh. was so unrealistic and outdated and uh -huh. kind of cliche. And then all the stuff that's been happening in the news lately, it's like you forget there really are people like that, and, that, and it really does happen. I know. But, I know. Well, I, I think that you know, yeah. aggression and 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 um, and frustration in high school is just such so a, natural. So I mean, everyone relates to it, and, and that's why so many movies have right. been made about it. You know, right. people turn their high school experiences into movies later about. Mm -hmm. and, and, that, and those characters appear all the time because it really exists. It's not always the jocks, yeah. but there's some, maybe it's your parents that are... Yeah, Election. You Did you see Election? Great movie. It's a great movie about Yeah, if you haven't seen it, uh, go, I just, go I see just it. love Angus. I just, my heart goes out to him. He's so sweet. I just want to eat him. Wow. Because that's what we're making tonight. We're making Angus. No, I'm kidding. But, you know, I, mm -hmm. we, we are making Angus tonight yeah. because... You, that's we the obvious to. choice. And I love, to. I love to eat beef, too. Yeah. Um, let's talk about what we're using. Mm -hmm. We're using salt pepper, garlic, and this is our uh, Delmonico cut. Okay. Yeah, it's also known as, as ribeye, and there's different Delmonico cuts. Delmonico is kind of like the 50s That's way. That's the 50s version. Uh -huh. You have a nice cocktail with a Delmonico. Yeah. Uh, there's different cuts of, mm -hmm. uh, of steak. It starts with uh, uh, select, which right. is uh, probably what you get in your supermarket. Like choice. Yeah, it's, it's very lean, not a lot of marbling, not a lot of fat to uh -huh. it. Uh, and then choice, choice is the next step right. up. A little more marbled, a little more tender, more flavor. And then um, prime, which is what we have right here. That's what most steakhouses have. And it's That's really right. got a so, lot of flavor. Good. Yeah. We're going to be making a sauce for our steak. It's a compound butter sauce. Uh, we're using... Um, Blue cheese, parsley, shallots, some cognac, and some butter. And um, we're gonna make some fries using russets and Yukon gold potatoes and some vegetable oil. Yeah. Oh my God! I didn't even tell you. I love that music. Isn't that a great so song? Right. Yeah. That's, the opening of the movie. That's uh, Richard Butler in the band uh -huh. Love Spit Love. He used to be in the Psychedelic Furs. You may recognize his voice. The whole soundtrack is great. You got Green Day and Ash. A lot of great bands. Well, it so sets the tone for high school. That kind of like angst mm -hmm. like oh I'm, I'm alone in my room we're trying to keep it all to myself oh. and then yeah. you do marching band it just it so sets the tone yeah well let's watch a little bit more angles. all right let's do it we'll be back after the break to go over the ingredients for our cast iron skillet steak once again this TBS presentation is brought to you by Hefty One Zip Bags with the easy close slider you slide it you're done Hi, this is Claude Mann, the TBS food guy, with everything you'll need to make Outcast Iron Skillet Steak. For the blue cheese butter, six tablespoons softened, unsalted butter, six tablespoons blue cheese, like Stilton, Roquefort, or Gorgonzola, two teaspoons chopped flat leaf parsley, two teaspoons finely chopped shallots, and one teaspoon brandy or cognac. For the steak fries, two pounds baking potatoes or Yukon gold potatoes, three to four cups vegetable oil for frying, and salt to taste. For the skillet steaks, four boneless ribeye steaks, at least a half inch thick and preferably black Angus, one clove garlic peeled and sliced in half, kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper, two tablespoons peanut oil, and one drained Dawson's Creek bumper sticker. And now back to Angus on Dinner and a Movie. 
swelling and puffing. That, uh, that last scene so reminds me of something that happened to me uh, when I was in school. Oh, with like a girl in a, in yeah. a hallway yeah, kind of? in a hallway, in an empty hallway. Really? What happened? Uh, well, I had the crush, uh, crush on this girl, and she was way out of my league. But, of course, you don't have huh. the common sense to know that when you... Oh, no. So you hold on to this little glimmer of a hope that she might go out with you. But instead of asking her myself, uh -huh. I thought... You have a friend do I'll it? I have a friend oh, do it. Oh, yeah, I know So that I'm, one. like, around the corner, and she's way down the hall with her friends. Uh -huh. and, and then I hear... <laughs> Guys, guess who wants to go out with me? Paul Gil Martin. And they Aww. all start laughing. Poor and little my, mouse. Oh, my ears just burned. Aww. The blood drained from my face. And Poor then I. Poor little mouse. Stuck there. Oh, yeah. No. It <laughs> yeah, was, now I know why they called you mouse. They, I, was, you know, I looked like I was eight. Yeah. Who's going to go out with you when you look like that's you're That's really funny. I mean, and you see that in this movie, too. There's always people in high school, like this one kid, like James Vanderbeek. Mm -hmm. He looks handsome. He looks like he's in high school. He looks, well, I don't know, yeah. 15, 16 or something. And then the other kid who looks like 12 Grizzly. years old, right. yeah. like Angus's friend. Right. There's just always this disparity. Like, there's one there kid is. who's shaving and right. one kid who's, you know, right. praying for hair on right. his face. And other places. And other what, are you, places. what are you working on? Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on our compound. You know what I was thinking. Yeah. Butter sauce. I lived it. Thank you. Um, mm. I added my ingredients, my shallots, uh, the butter, mm. some cognac, and the blue cheese and parsley. And what I'm doing is I'm rolling it out onto wax paper because you always make more than you need because you can freeze it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I rolled it out. And then you can, you know, use it later for other meat or fish that you're going to... And then when you need it, you just slice it off and put it on That's top of the hot so steak, right. and That's it creates true. kind of a sauce. And you, I'm making our uh, our potatoes, and uh, we're soaking them in a little bit of water right. to get rid of the starch on the outside. That'll help them get crispier when we uh, when we fry them. And uh, we mentioned before we got two different kinds of potatoes. The russets, mm -hmm. which supposedly yeah. are a little more fluffy in the middle when you fry them, and the Yukon Golds, which are kind of all the rage now, are supposed to be a little more creamy. Are so they we'll get all to the rage now? Everybody's talking about them. Everywhere. Just, you know, hey, what's happening in Yugoslavia? Oh, have you heard about the Yukon Gold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so what, the uh, first thing you do when you're cutting potatoes, you want to give yourself a flat bottom to work with. Mm. Cut like that, and then it's more stable. You roll your fingertips underneath, and have your knuckles in contact that way. You don't have to look at what you're doing. That scares me. Please don't do scares that. scares me, too. I, I know you're actually TV. keeping yourself safe by touching that look with at that. your skin. And but I, it looks dangerous. People are worried about you out look there. Look at that now. Strips. You're scaring me. That's good. She's watching. She'll know she made a mistake. Saturday night on the Superstation. Look out, Las Vegas. Here come the Griswolds. I think this is going to be the greatest vacation ever. Clay Newton's hitting on Mom. It's all part of the act, Russ. Randy Quaid. Chevy Chase. Lost $300 in 15 minutes. And a special appearance by Siegfried and Roy. No gratuity is necessary, sir. <laughs> Vegas Vacation, Saturday night at 8.05 Eastern on the Superstation. I guess they really know how to treat their high rollers around here, huh?